This is a continuation of the story about a present that came from heaven for Mother's Day 2019. Welcome to Heavenly Springs Ministries. The story centered on the children, how to help our children build up their identities, build themselves up along their identities, reminding our children that they are unique. The Holy Spirit came down and said, the, the, you children, you are unique. Remind the children that they are unique. They are unique in their identities. They are unique in terms of their achievements, their dreams and their goals in life. They have unique storylines, the Holy Spirit said. And therefore they should be encouraged to work as achieving the dreams along their own unique storylines is based on working, calls for working. A mind that is geared towards working. A mind that is anti-laziness. So God said that children must wake up and remind themselves who they are from their heart. Because if they do not do this, spirits are out there waiting to pounce on their minds to tell them who they are instead. Sometimes they tell them they are nobodies. Sometimes they tell them they cannot achieve anything. Sometimes they encourage them to just go and drink, to just go and smoke. Because they, they don't amount to anything. So to avoid this, God said, every day in the morning, your children and just about anybody else that is working on their identity should remember, bring to their consciousness who they are. Because in the course of the day, the devil is waiting for them to give them its own identity. A, an, an identity that leads them to self-destruction. So God here came and said, the children must be encouraged to work. When they have remembered who they are, they should be encouraged to work. So there must be rules in the house. As parents or guardians of children, the Holy Spirit said, we must have rules in the house that are geared towards working. That the children must be encouraged to work. That they can only attain their dreams, their goals through work. They must put in their own effort from the time they get up. So the Holy Spirit say they must be rules. for working because this is what builds them up and in the end the whole puzzle of a society a desirable society is built from these individual pieces of um, members of our of, of our children as individuals who have been brought up and taught to work. God said, as parents, as mothers, don't forget the issue of consequences. God said, in most families, there is no proper pattern of consequences because in the first place, there is no proper pattern of rules for the children. God said there should be rules in the house, rules which are well explained to the children. And when these rules are broken, they, we are encouraged by the Holy Spirit to, to, to introduce consequences for, for breaking of 
rules in the house rules that are designed to to make our children like to work towards building their own unique identities because each of them has a storyline to tell through their own work through their own work which is their own contribution to, to the whole story of God's people hallelujah so God says consequences do not make your children to be too comfortable because God said laziness which is the opposite of working laziness is opens up doors for evil voices to come either in person or in in voices in their minds where our children will be told look today you didn't do anything you don't amount to anything look you didn't pass your exam you can't even read because they won't no one would have put down rules for them to study to read towards exams as a result when they fail a door opens for evil spirits to tell them that they amount to nothing god says this is led or is leading to a lot of uh, breaking down uh, mentally and psychologically emotionally in our children even adults even every age that laziness opens doors for voices that will start tell people that will start telling people that they are nothing they amount to nothing they cannot even do anything therefore they should drink they should just forget about who they are forget about your dreams for voices like that will start coming out of laziness therefore what the holy spirit said on mother's day 2019 with the holy spirit said everybody must work must be encouraged to work there should be rules and consequences when rules are broken hallelujah and also the holy spirit spoke on on the need to evaluate company to evaluate the people we decide to mix with to spend most of our time with or to the the things that we listen to uh they have been for instance uh where people have killed uh, uh, some some individuals have killed a lot of people i mean it could be uh, it could be you know knifing or gun or anything like that this has been happening god said it is also important what company they keep what they listen to who they listen to because in some of these instances the people that have perpetrated uh, these crimes have kept bad company and uh, and God brainwashed or have watched wrong things heard wrong things and God brainwashed so what the holy spirit was saying is that we should always watch out what our children are listening to what who their uh, friends are who whether they have bad or good company is good company will help them also build up uh, their own unique storyline their their dreams hallelujah and achieve their dreams hallelujah the holy spirit said that we must encourage uh, our children to think out of the box to 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 follow to follow the stories in their hearts because the stories are written in their hearts is in uh, Hebrews 10 verse 16 where as we live in the new covenant uh, the the laws 
the word about us uh, in our individual hearts and in our minds and when activated they help us they lead us into our own stories walking our own lanes hallelujah that's why we see Moses became Moses he did his own thing Elijah was Elijah he did his own thing it is because of of that law which is in our hearts in this new uh, in, in this new testament in this new covenant these laws help us help us be what we are supposed to be hallelujah some will be teachers hallelujah some will be prophets some artists some engineers hallelujah if we listen to what is in our heart then we we are happy what we we work with passion we don't hate working when it's coming from the heart it's what we were born for then we our children will not hurt working they will like to work because it is what is built inside of them hallelujah but our children if they are lazy other voices will come and tell them the the wrong things which are not that which is which they are born for and at the end of the day they won't be passionate about whatever they are doing they won't be passionate they will be a dissatisfied people they will be unhappy but if something is coming from their heart everyone feels fulfilled in their own way because we are unique we are different and we are perfect in that way because then we complement each other from from a family level we start complementing each other with our unique differences up to community and national and international level our unique differences are designed in such a way that each, if each and every one of us is encouraged to fulfill who they are. We complement each other and it becomes a better world. What a present on Mother's Day for my children to listen to and for me also to learn. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be blessed. Amen.